Lastly, a few of the boys experiencing car troubles in the middle of the woods. Make sure that I want to pit my Jason. Give me part five. I can't Does play that this. I mean, I, I can't watch this. It's glitchy. Trap starts the magic up mod. Dun, dun. Right, I accept. It's locked. Oh, I can hear it. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> so how do I, how do I change my Jason? Ah, oh, that's how. Is he locked? Oh, yes. Let's start. Let's start. I'm holding a weapon and come back and focus on this. I'm part five. You fix that shit yet? Might be faster if You're you help, five, man. Man, just hurry up. I don't think anyone's gonna go with you, mate. Especially when I'm done with you. They're here, Jason. Find them. They must die. They're all the way over there. Da -na 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 -na. It's so un like it's so weird. Logan! Ah! Ah! Stop kicking me! Right, he's there now, so. Yeah! Hello? Hello, little boy. Did you hear him rage? Yeah. Shut up! And there he goes again. Shut up! Logan, you! You! Hi, how are you? Oh, he's, he's having a little piss. Oh, I'm here. Oh, and you're dead. Oh. Oh, good job there, lad. Don't stop, Jason. They deserve First to blood. die. Make them suffer Ow. like we did. What's he doing? I want to get another special kill, so I want to try this out. Kill for mummy. Okay. Kill for mummy. Little did they know, Jason was it a very slim tree, bigger than him. Kill for mummy. Alright, anyway, we're just gonna... Uh, hi guys, welcome to our playthrough of Friday the 13th. Like my face, it's like so nice. Oh, what's he doing? Kill him! Oh, special kill. No! Oh, I can do it anyway. What? Oh! Oh, why, Jason? Why have you done this? Jason, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Whoa! Oh Run. my god! He didn't deserve he that. To die, Jason. Make them suffer. What did he just do? He pulled off the thing so the car crushed him. Jason, mother is talking to you. Find them. Oh my god, why did I just get an emote called the cabin buggy? Get it for mommy. There's mummy, look. Alright. Strange things are happening at the Higgins Haven Lodge. Screams, passioning down the mysterious smell of something burning. Let's start. Right, what's the cutscene at the beginning then? Every time you say something, then it comes up again. Whoa. I know. Did you just hear that? It sounded like screaming. Probably someone getting bonked upstairs, man. How come you don't get loud when we get it on? Well, you're just gonna have to keep going, babe. Hippie dude. Hippie dude. Holy shit. What's going on? What are you doing? Just testing it out, honey. Ha! How should I hide, babe? Be a doll and go check the views, please. Like me, not the fucking electrician here. Don't be scared, man.
He's here. I'm to England, motherfucker. I'm here. Okay, yes, I have a wall. Where are you? Anyone in there? Oh, he's walking away. I can handle the dark. No biggie. <laughs> I'm not afraid of anything, man. Can I get him up, bitch? Okay, bitch. Try your yeah. Okay, Mitch, you do what you'd want. Oh. Oh, God. Well, you're dead. I'm gonna do. Who's next? I mean, I got spotted. How do I don't pick people up? Come here. Is she about to escape? Am I already out? What? Oh, she's escaped. Oh, has she? Sign. Sign, I hate you. Got them sign. Oh no! No one in there. Anyone here? Ah! What? How did he see me? He's also an idiot. He ran upstairs. Fuck! It's so hard to see up here. Sorry, mate, but your time has come. You, you sit on that clothing hanger. You offer me. Hunt them down and make them pay. Don't even care anymore. Don't care. Jason, mother is talking to you. Find them. Alright, we're gonna go into the virtual cabin because I've got no idea what this is, so. What is the virtual cabin then?
Whoa. Right, we got that. One open. What? You can read it at the bottom if you want. Right, that, that's your moment of pause. Sir. You're welcome. Right. We're literally just looking at all the characters right now. Friday the 13th, the game, features a wide range of voiceover talent. The counselor, Deborah Kim, is voiced by the by veteran Christina V, or V, sorry, who has helped voice many popular animated and film projects. Okay, what do I do? Says in that. What can... can read that there you go shut that door behind us interesting oh hi chad There you go. Oh. Again. There you go. Damn it. There was much discussion about how the killer should be clad. Ultimately, it was the costume designer who brought up the burlap pillowcase. The headpiece was chosen because it was an item that would have been readily available to the killer. Though it was never well liked by the production crew, it did serve a bridge to the hockey mask. Alright, uh, what about in here? Alright, there's blood right there. Bed. <laughs> Like other movies in the series, part two had a difficult time receiving an R rating from the Motion Picture Association of America. An X rating was only avoided once 48 seconds had been true. One scene that raised the ire of sense particularly was the murder scene of Jeff and Sandra, impaled by his spear while having sex in the bed. Alright, um... 
radio to call to, oh I don't care oh I don't care knife baseball bat there you go that's your metal pipe oh, I don't care about metal pipes knew it there are many kills in this game take their inspiration and origin from the movies the kill where Jason spears a counselor in the face for example is a reference to the VW book scene with Nancy McLaughlin in part 6 the flare gun one of the most interesting deaths in part 5 is the road flare death in the scene two greasers Vinnie and Pete are stranded along the road in the woods common enough occurrence in the world of Friday 13th Jason ambushes the two and shoves a, ro a road flare in Vinny's mouth for the special effects shot. They made a latex version of Vinny's head, jam and jam the road flare in the mouth, making a horrific or making a horrific red glow. Alice, the heroine of the first movie, was played by uh, Adrian King, or Adrian, I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't know how you pronounce that. Her appearance of part two was cut short and Jason shows an ice pick through her temple. The collapsible ice pick prop was not checked properly. On take one, did not retract. Thankfully, King wasn't injured and didn't need any med spray. More med spray. After menacing the crew of the Grendel, Jason is shot to death by the android KM-14, with half a body and half a head. Jason falls onto a nano med bay, it super heals the killer. With future technology, Jason is reborn as Uber Jason. Same bloodthirst, but deadlier. Nearly indestructible. Movement for a cane harder, the full body suit looks sharp, but had a limited range of motion on account of all the metallic pieces. I don't. Pig Splitter. Like the movies that preceded it, Friday the 13th, the game has had its own problems with sensors. Germany's ratings board with the USK found the game so violent that they rejected the game at launch. Huh? Pocket knife. The MPA ratings board motion picture association of America and the Friday 13th franchise has, has long had a cat and mouse relationship. Director John Carl Buchler, but I don't know, has publicly vented his frustration with the amount of footage that had to be cut to attain an R in. For Buchler, the goal had a purpose, comparing the removal of it, it to be like telling a joke without a punchline. Anything else in this room? Hand operated weapons. Preferring manual weapons like axes, Jason's never used a chainsaw in the dispatching of his victims. Chainsaw, however, was used on Roy at the end of part 5 in the climactic barn scene. Pam. Play barn scene. Pam. Played by the Melanie Kinnaman, fights off her attacker with a chainsaw, slicing his shoulder to the bone. Axe. Special effects artist Tom Savini gave him the attention of Friday the 13th filmmakers. From his work on the movie Dawn of the Dead, a particular note was the visceral nature of his special effects and kills. It was a realism that was hard won. Savini had been a combat photographer in Vietnam. If the special effects he created didn't give the same feeling as what he remembered from war, they weren't good enough. Not this one. Axe. To promote Jason Takes Manhattan, an axe wielding Kane Hodder appeared on the Arsenio Hall show in full. Jason Regalia. Hodder didn't speak or break character throughout the entire interview. Credit to Ars Arsenio for pulling it all off. Ducks. Jason's relationship with animals is undefined. In part two, Jeff and Sandra discovered a dead dog. It is suspected that it is the work of the killer, although it's never confirmed. In part eight, Jason takes Manhattan, and the director instructs Kane Hodder, who played Jason, to kick a dog. However, Hodder, however, refused saying it wasn't in Jason's character. The jungle gym in the front of the Voorhees residence that Jason protagonist, Stephen Freeman, fight on his, on his the same jungle gym. Alfred Hitchcock used in 1963 for the birds. Right, cool. Don't care. This one. Oh no. Everything has one. P 
pickaxe. Filming Friday the 13th is going to be a risky affair during the final sequence of part 2, Ginny, played by Amy Steele, is defending herself from the pickaxe-wielding killer. One of the early takes, Steele armed with a machete, sliced stuntman Steve Daskowitz's fingers, sending him to the emergency room. Once he returned, Daskowitz's filmed the remaining takes with a prosthetic covering his hand. When it came to creating the kill for Friday the 13th the game, good media knew they needed expertise. Two better to, than the man who helped create the slasher genre. They brought on the legendary practical effects guru Tom Savini. That's what I did in the Friday movies, said Savini. Creatively killed teenagers in the woods with household implements. It's a living. Somebody has to do it. Wrench. Jason turned many implements into tools for murder. However, some of the more censored kills have been from unarmed, from unarmed combat. In part six, Sheriff Garrison bent backwards and broke it in half. It was a bloodless kill, but nevertheless was the one that the ratings board had the most trouble with, finding it too intense. What? Filming a Friday 13th movie has always carried a certain amount of risk. Director Tom McLaughlin. Nancy played the role of Elizabeth, who Jason spears through the windshield of a Volkswagen Beetle. When it came time to film the shot, Nancy sat in the car as Jason ran the through the vehicle. The windshield gave way. Um, the windshield gave way, but changed the trajectory of the spear, nearly impaling Nancy. Whew. All right, we've looked at everything. Let's just have a look, though. Right. Impalement in the original Friday. There have been several characters that Jason has affixed to walls or doors, even rafters. The biker gang character of Fox, played by Gloria Charles, was impaled in the neck with a pitchfork, left to hang from the second story of a barn. The pitchfork was real, but made so that the two prongs in the middle were collapsible. Alright. In the original movie, the role of Brenda was played by Laurie Barnum. The audience is introduced to her character as she is moving a large archery target to the range. She places the target on an easel. The foreshadowing arrow is shot by a prankster Ned, or the prankster Ned whizzes by her. Late in the movie, Brenda is thrown through a window, and it happened. As it happened, it was not Laurie Bottom who did the stunt, but Tom Savini who played the flying teen. Oh, all right. Ah, uh, I don't care. Um. Tommy Jarvis' death. The role of Tommy Jarvis is one of the few reoccurring protagonists in the series, showing up in three movies. Albeit played by three different actors, actors, young Tommy's interest in masks serves as an, as an homage to Tom Savini's. That's the radio call, Tommy Trap. Right, that's everything in the virtual cabin, I'm pretty sure. Nope, but I don't care about the game development. There's a laptop there, I guarantee you it will be interactive. Knew it. You, oh, H2O Delirious. Let me show you. Yeah, Captain 1987. Welcome to the. D <laughs> That's brilliant! Gonna try this. What would his password be? The old H two O delirious is there. I'm actually so. Oh, that's actually really cool. I'll like put him in. Ah, uh, props to the developers for that, man. Whoa. Wow. You know the secret message?
fall through. I'm just guessing now. Oh my god! I hate when it does that. I don't know. I'm going to hit or Delirious though, wherever he is. He's near the top, I know that much. Damn it. There he is. I think I've got an idea. Um, welcome, maybe that's it, welcome. Damn it. Oh, uh, you can't, why? That's a bit depressing, why can't you do that? What's, what's, feel? Oh. August. Damn it. Ah, what is it? How many subscribers got around 10 now? Oh my god. Damn it! I don't know. Face. Don't know why I'm putting face, just face. That off. Please work. Damn it. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna keep it August, I guess. One. What? Uh. No, I need more passwords, guys. Right, what? I think that's it for the virtual cabin. I mean, unless there was like something like really cool that I've missed. What's outside? Oh, there's someone that wait, can we go outside? Please tell me we can go outside. Cause then there's a whole lot more. Why? This is just boring now.
Right, but yeah, that's it. Uh, consider my cargo outside. Second. So where's the purple Jason's? I'm a marker, so like the Kane Hodder's version and Jason goes to hell. So I'm not given how little screen time the movie gives to the corp corporeal Jason. In my opinion, Jason goes to hell. Absolutely terrible. Why? That's actually so bold that we can't go. Oh, I don't want to look at Tiffany Cox and Brian Kendall or whatever. Come on. Is that really it? The door in here. Oh my. Well, that's the virtual cabin, we're just leaving that. Oh my god, that's so boring as well, man. Right, well, I got a trophy, which was first blood. So, yeah. Uh, we're just gonna go and quick play now. So, um... Alright, well, this is a quick game. Um. This might be my best bet because it's five everything. This will, this is my best bet that I've got, man. This is my best bet. That's my best bet, though. But yeah, after this game, I'm gonna end the broadcast, and I'm just gonna. Keep playing some more and then see how it goes.
Okay. Camp Crystal Lake, 1979. Oh, you're dead. Bye. Who? That's I'm not Jason. No, that much. I'm, I'm. Yes. Anyone here? I have to do something. I have to escape. Oh, oh, person. Person. <laughs> Ow. I'm not good at this game at all. What's in the drawer? Nothing. This drawer? Anything? Nothing. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, let's go. Got a machete. Shutting this up. Going out? Alright, we're going out. <laughs> eh. Following this woman, I think she knows what she's doing. <laughs> Hit her! <laughs> Die! Help! <laughs> Thank you! And I've just been hit. Run! Run! Oh, what's he doing? Hit him! Kill him! Ow! Go, go, go! Ow! So dead! Let me in! Ha! Huh. Jesus! Help me! Please! Anyone! I'm so weak. So dead. I'm hiding. Right. Oh. You'll never catch me. Oh my god. I don't see what the point of holding my breath is. I'll be fine. <laughs> He's not here anymore. <sighs> oh, I'm injured. I need meds. Oh my own. Oh, this ain't good. I'm so slow. <laughs> you really almost fall. Wow. <laughs> Mom and myself. Right, you have a good day, lass. No. He's coming in. Second, guys, I'm just checking something that's came up. I just got a notification that my application, uh, that YouTube would be suspended. Something. I'm just gonna check my PS Plus real quick. You guys just, you you just enjoy the screen. 
When does it end? It's not been extended. It hasn't said that it's running out, which is... Yeah, 10th of the 10th it runs out. November, December, yeah, what the hell? Isn't it already off? I don't know what's going on here, like, but... Right. We're fine. Oh! <sighs> Thank God it actually fit. <sighs> Holy shit. Is that a dead body? What? Whoop. Why was it in that random position? There's med spray. How do you crouch? How do you crouch? Guys, there's med spray. I need to go around. That's med spray. I really need that. Holy shit. Oh my god. It's med spray. How do we use it? How do you use it? That's how. Thank you! I can run properly! My fear is so high though. Oh, someone. Help me, person! You, I really need the uh, fear gun going down because it's almost covered my screen. Yeah, Reed, you doing doing fine? Get ready to up. No, Just slapped him. Die. Luckily, it doesn't do any damage. Oh my god. Shutting the store behind us, man. Can't be locked. Oh, fuck. Shut all of them. Oh, lock it, yes. Copy on the road, therapy. 10-4-37. Oh, oh, we just locked it. Alright. <laughs> um. There. Yeah. Yeah, guys. He picked me up through the door, but. Oh my god, that's bullshit. Wow! How did that actually happen? That's gonna be it, guys. Uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed and have a good.